Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Denny. You've not seen me like this in a while because the last two videos I have uploaded have been Get Ready With Me's. But today we're back for a cult favourite, which is my August favourites. What a month I have had. Actually, what a week I've had, seriously. As per usual, I have my list. I can't find my notepad that I normally put all my video ideas in. So the iPad is where we're switching back to. Also, I bought these sunglasses at Boots, like in the airport before I went to Italy. And I don't know why I don't wear them more because they're really slay. Anyway, this one has been big. Um, it's been a recent like discovery of mine and it's these gluten-free, dairy-free scotch pancakes. And let me tell you, I've, one, I've never been able to eat like packaged pancakes, nor have I ever really had any interest to, but these I found in the trusty Tesco free from section. And my life has changed. Amazing. Typically gluten-free pre-packaged stuff is really disgusting but this was good it's a yes from me because i have not been able to stop eating them this other thing i want to show you it's important so this is my favorite moisturizer ever as soon as i started using it everything got better um it's the avene sycophate um like their sycoplast moisturizer this one and as you can see i've used the shit out of it I'm running out. But this package also seems to be infinite because no matter how like low it gets, there's still always some coming out. But anyway, I finally caved and ordered a new one. And I was like, oh my God, why is this so expensive? Because this is how big the new one is. This is huge. Are you seeing this? Like this is not a drill. This is real, but it's great because it's still, I was worried it was gonna be in like the awful plastic packaging. And this is like, well, I think this might be plastic, but it's like a softer plastic, do you know what I mean? Whereas the other moisturizers they have are in like a hard plastic squeezy tube and I just don't fuck with it at all. But this is still in the packaging that I love. It's just bigger, which means this should hopefully last me a lot longer than the year that this one lasted me even though they have a six month shelf life but i don't think i've ever listened to that and i've turned out just fine this body now if you're a follower of my tiktok you would already know this but i have recently invested in stanley it's a, oh, like do you guys remember how do you guys remember how passionate i was about my hydro flask when i got it this is, it's at the same level, right? And this holds more than my Hydro Flask. The Stanley, I got it so, because of what's currently been happening with me and my Hydro Flask, we're not having a lover's tiff, don't worry. It's just that I'll use it so much that it gets to a point where I need to wash it. So I put it in the kitchen so that I don't keep using it whilst it's dirty. But then I prolong, like I put off washing it and then I'm just without water for a week because I'm not going to drink water unless it's in my hydro flask, right? So I got this so that whilst the other one needs washed, even if it takes a week for me to wash it, I've still got something to drink water out of because I'm a genius. I'm Lamborghini. I'm a Hollywood star. This is another food related one. I have been currently making kimchi chicken and rice. It doesn't sound like much or like very exciting, but this is big for me. As someone who learns how to cook one thing and then cooks the ever-living shit out of it so that I get sick of it, I, my previous food like that, I'm a bit scared to admit it on the internet, but it was gluten-free toast with vegan cream cheese and salami on top, but not just any salami, the Tesco German salamis. That has been like the hyperfixation food that I've just gone off of because I, I made it for myself the other day and I was like, I ate as much of it as I could, but I was like, this is, I, I don't want to consume this anymore. I had to make another food. This is when I stumbled across this kimchi chicken and rice. 
Now we've just bought a bunch of chicken breasts in bulk and then like froze them down so we can use them as we need them. And I, before we froze them down, I was like, right, okay, I'm going to cook with me. And I get a little bit of the fear with cooking with me other than like mincemeat because chicken especially i got the chicken fear and uh, those who get it will know what i'm talking about fear that i'm gonna get salmonella for whatever reason or it's like i think i was talking about this in one of my fear videos like my i am so convinced that i'm somehow gonna get food poisoning like as soon as like something starts to feel off i'm like fuck what have i eaten i just find it best to avoid cooking with chicken or meat like i eat oh i would rather prepare tofu than meat. I was vegetarian for a very long time and this is kind of the reason because I was just very particular about like the meat that I did eat um, and then I was just like you know what fuck it none of it I don't want any of it and then uh, I was severely anemic so I had to start eating meat again. Circling back I got over the fear I just cooked cut the chicken up like really small so that I could make sure it was all cooked through and I like, I even took, I took the biggest piece out and I cut it in half and it was all the way cooked. So I was like, okay, this is fine. And then I've been putting like all the sauces in it. I've got gluten-free soy sauce, sesame oil and sweet chili sauce. And then putting the rice in, I've been putting spinach in. And then I just cover it with kimchi. I fucking love kimchi. Also throughout this month, I have recently repurchased one of my old favorites. But then it's obviously resurfaced the favoritism of this. Um, this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. I just had the extreme one last time. Um, but I had a tube that just kept leaking. And I don't know why. Um, and then I lost it. So that was kind of a blessing in disguise though. Because anytime I put it back in my makeup bag, it, j it literally just exploded. This is the one, I didn't realize that this was like, they make all these different ones now. This was just kind of the one that they had left when I was in that whatever boots I was in. It's like got a little, a little pink hue. I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, but apparently this is actually supposed to have long-term effects as well. But also, I think my lips kind of look the same. I have not noticed the difference, but obviously because of like you know how when you don't really realize that you've gotten taller because you've been yourself the whole time and so you don't feel does that make any sense actually no i did wake up one day and feel taller i retract my statement i suppose because i see myself all the time if something like that changed i don't think i would notice as much I know that I have actually been talking a lot recently about wanting to go back to my beautiful blonde hair. So I went to a hairdresser just to see if this dream could come true. And so he was like, okay, we'll take a look. Um, but the red in my hair is really in there. So he took a test strand, he like snipped a bit of my hair out um, and was just like, I'm just gonna bleach this and see what happens which thank god he did that he let me keep the test strand and i'm going to show you guys because this is like he was like this is the highest strength bleach that i could have used and this is how it lifted anyone fancy me a ginger oh my god don't look at the top of my head i did a curly girl routine and it's got so much product in it but it's like i just slept on this and i like i need to brush it but it's gonna go because i showed him photos of like the blondest that I ever was. And he was like, wow. I was like, yeah, I know. I, I wasn't lying when I said my hair lifts really well. I'll show you the photo that I showed him. Welcome to the Derry Duchess Love Factory. Go whip it up, fix you up straight away. Go in the front door, leave another back door, whip it, flip it, hey. It was this photo of Mia Miller, this one. And he was like, oh, I like, I like your little pose. And I was like, I'm not talking about my face. I'm talking about my hair. Get real, but oh my god, I miss you. I miss my hair and I miss Miller. This next two are book related. I read this book in August called The Narrows. I forgot the author's name, but I'm gonna insert a photo of really fucking good, like really good. And then I like was just kind of like looking it up to see kind of 
what else the artist like the author has made and this is book number 10 of a 20 book series i literally found it at a tesco book swap but anyway i was on holiday in stratford upon avon as well and i went to like a bunch of them shakespeare oh. went, a bun went to a bunch of them shakespeare like bookshop places and i bought so many books i will show you i've not read any of them yet um I'll show you the two that I'm excited to read though. The other ones kind of turned out to be a bit boring. So I read, That's a, that happens to me a lot though. I'll start like, after I finish a real page turner, I'll try and read another book straight away. And it just doesn't, I need to like give myself a little break before I start reading another thing. Cause it's like, if you've just finished reading a really good book, no other book is gonna be that good for a little while. These two are the two that I'm really excited to read. This one's called Oligarchy, a novel. And this one is The Map. This one's a big boy and this one's not so big. But I'm excited. I'm trace excited. But I put down as a favorite just buying books. Oh, I love it. I love buying books. This last one is a baby. It's a baby. It's a big deal. Um, I have been watching Suits and loving it i am on to what am i up to i can check season four episode eight i haven't started it yet but that's the episode i'm up to um loving it everyone else is annoying me a little bit though except for donna team donna all the way that's all for the favorites portion of this video i now have a story time about something that happened recently so this is what i was saying talking about when i said that this week has been just a roller coaster. I finally have like come to a conclusion on university and I do want to go and I've become quite sold on this certain course that's here in Belfast and I was under the understanding that because I have a UK passport I'm a home student and I live here so I'm a, I was like yep I'm a home student it's fine. Wrong but I'll get to that. So I applied for clearing which is like, if they have a bunch of university spaces like left over in certain courses, you can apply to join it and then be in that course. Like, like it would literally start next month in September. Oh, this month, sorry. So I applied for that. And then the woman replied to me like the next day in the morning. Um, and then just asking me for like extra information, my passport and whatnot. Then I ended up getting offered a place. And I was just like, oh, great. So I'm going to university next month. That's really quick but then I get a missed call from these people and they're like hi Denny um we were just looking over your application and we don't know if you're actually eligible for clearing I didn't realize that you haven't been in the UK for three years and I was like okay and they're like we've put your case forward to admissions and to our boss so that we can see if we can even accept you um, but I think you might still count as an international student. And I was like, fuck, all right. Because them international fees are no joke. The international fees is literally triple what the home fee is. Which is just like, oh my god, awesome. But then I looked on like the student loan thing. And I am still eligible for student loans. Because I live here and have a UK passport. It's not... It doesn't ask me whether I've been here for three years. It's just like, do you normally stay in Northern Ireland? And do you have a passport? And I was like, yes. So I I could get student loans right now, but it just covers like a third of the course fee. And then I have to fork out the rest myself. Long story short, I'm not going to uni this year, but literally after I finish this video, I'm going to apply as an international student for next year. So then I can save all of this year and then hopefully for the remainder of my course. So the first year, I'll have to be an international student and then the remaining three years, I'll be a home student. Um, but this course is so slay. But I need to apply. But I think, I'm hoping like if I got into clearing, hopefully that means that I can do it like properly next year. But I'll keep you all posted. I'll let you know if I come, if I become a student slay. Which would be so fun, I think. Um, yeah, but it's. Uh, I kind of came to the conclusion, I was like, I need to use my brain. 
because see this whole working full-time business I like it but I don't see a way to move up until I have like qualifications of some description that allow me to move up <clears throat> so I'm just like right I gotta get on this I gotta get on this I think I definitely needed a break though to kind of reach this conclusion because obviously I did the IB and that that was like it was intense and I definitely didn't do as well as I could have because I got so burnt out um and I also was not motivated at all so like like I did well but I definitely could have done a lot better which is fine because I'm now going to uni of my own accord for stuff that I'm interested in which I'm hoping in turn motivates me to do good I'll keep you all updated about that sitch, but thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I mean, if you made it this far, you kind of had to have enjoyed. Like, it's kind of factual. But I'll see you guys in my next video. I'll see you next Monday. So I'll see you next Tuesday. I'll see you next Monday. Um, Peace and love. And also two weeks until I see Dominic 